Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're embarking on a journey to explore some of the world's most captivating abandoned towns. From a coal mining island frozen in time, to a city that was once a bustling resort destination, these locations hold stories that are nothing short of mesmerizing. So, grab your virtual passports, and let's dive right into it. Number 5. Hashima Island, Japan. Our first stop takes us to Hashima Island, Japan, a place often referred to as Battleship Island, due to its creepy resemblance to a naval warship from afar. Hashima Island, also known as Gunkanjima, was once a bustling, coal mining community. It operated from 1887 until 1974, when the coal industry declined, leading to its abandonment. Today, its crumbling concrete buildings and overgrown streets make it a hauntingly beautiful relic of Japan's industrial past. In its heyday, Hashima Island was a bustling community with schools, shops, and apartments for the miners and their families. The architecture of Hashima is nothing short of astonishing. Its narrow, maze-like streets went through a tightly packed urban landscape, a testament to the ingenuity of those who designed and constructed this remarkable mining town on the sea. It was a self-contained world, isolated from the mainland. But when coal mining ceased, the island was left to the elements, and nature began reclaiming it. In recent years, there have been efforts to preserve Hashima's legacy. It's now recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, ensuring that future generations can appreciate the island's historical significance and the dedication of the people who once called it home. So, from the industrial marvel of Hashima, we now head to a different corner of the world, where another abandoned gem awaits our exploration. Let's journey on. Number 4. Bodie, California, USA. Our next destination is Bodie, nestled in the heart of California. What makes Bodie unique is that it's not your typical ghost town. It's a remarkably well-preserved one. Bodie, situated in the east of the Sierra Nevada mountains, earned its place in history during the late 19th century as a bustling gold mining town. Like many mining towns of its time, it experienced rapid growth as prospectors flocked to the area in search of their fortunes. At its peak in the 1870s and 1880s, Bodie boasted a population of nearly 10,000 people and was renowned for its wild and lawless reputation. It had numerous saloons, gambling halls, and even a red light district, making it a lively and often rowdy place to live. After the gold ran out and the population dwindled, the town was slowly abandoned. Fortunately, in the early 1960s, Bodie was designated a state historic park, and efforts were made to keep it looking much as it did in the early 20th century. Today, wandering through Bodie feels like stepping back in time. You can peer into the windows of homes and businesses, seeing the remnants of daily life, frozen in time. The town boasts a schoolhouse, church, blacksmith's shop, and even a morgue, all filled with period-appropriate furnishings and tools. There's an eerie, yet fascinating atmosphere that permeates Bodie. The wooden buildings, some weathered and crooked, others remarkably intact, stand as silent witnesses to the hopes and dreams of those who once called this place home. Bodie isn't just a place to observe from afar, visitors are encouraged to explore its well-preserved interiors, getting a tangible sense of life in the late 1800s. So, from the vibrant past of Bodie, we now venture further into the realm of abandoned wonders. Stay with us as we uncover more tales of places frozen in time. Number 3. Varosha, Cyprus. Our journey continues to Varosha, Cyprus, a city that was once a thriving resort destination, but tragically fell into abandonment during the Turkish invasion in 1974. Varosha was a jewel of the Mediterranean. Its pristine beaches, luxury hotels, and vibrant streets attracted celebrities, politicians, and tourists from all over the world. In its prime, Varosha was the epitome of elegance, with its high-end boutiques, grand hotels, and bustling nightlife. The city was often referred to as the French Riviera of Cyprus due to its glamour and sophistication. However, in 1974, the tranquility of Varosha was shattered by the Turkish invasion of Cyprus. As conflict raged on, the residents and tourists fled in fear, leaving behind their homes, businesses, and memories. 
the once thriving city was suddenly abandoned and sealed off by Turkish forces, becoming a no man's land frozen in time. Today, Varosha remains locked behind barbed wire fences and guarded by Turkish troops. Its once glamorous buildings now stand as haunting echoes of the past, gradually deteriorating under the relentless assault of time and neglect. Efforts to reopen Varosha and restore its former glory have been ongoing, with international negotiations and discussions aimed at finding a solution that would allow people to return to their homes and revitalize this once thriving paradise. Now, let's journey from the shores of Cyprus to the arid deserts of Africa as we explore our next abandoned treasure. Number 2. Kalmanskop, Namibia. Our next destination transports us from the Mediterranean shores to the captivating desolation of the Namib Desert, where we'll delve into the story of Kalmanskop, a once thriving German diamond mining town. Kalmanskop, founded in the early 20th century, owed its existence to the discovery of diamonds in the desert sands. With the diamond rush in full swing, the town rapidly developed into a bustling hub, complete with a hospital, theater, bowling alley, and even a skittle alley, showcasing a unique blend of German architectural influence amidst the harsh Namibian desert. The allure of Kalmanskop was the wealth hidden beneath the desert's surface. Miners toiled day and night to extract diamonds, and the town flourished during its diamond heyday. The town's residents lived a life of relative luxury, with grand homes, gardens, and social clubs. However, as diamond resources started to dwindle in the 1920s, so did the town's fortunes. Operations started moving to more profitable sites, and Kalmanskop was gradually abandoned. The last inhabitant left Kalmanskop between 1956 and 1960. What remains today is a surreal landscape where the desert is reclaiming the town, with dunes creeping into homes, and sand covering once elegant interiors. Thankfully, Kalmanskop has not been entirely forgotten. The Namibian government has recognized its historical significance, and efforts have been made to preserve the town as a museum. Visitors can now explore the eerily beautiful interiors, frozen in time, as part of guided tours. As we leave the desert behind, our journey continues to a haunting location, where time seemed to freeze. Before we go to our last ghost town, if you find this exploration fascinating, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Number 1. Pripyat, Ukraine. Our final destination takes us to Pripyat, Ukraine, a town forever marked by the Chernobyl nuclear disaster of 1986. Pripyat was not just a town, it was a testament to the ambition of the Soviet Union and the pursuit of progress through nuclear power. Founded in 1970, it was intended to be a model city for the workers of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. Pripyat boasted modern amenities like schools, hospitals, a sports stadium, and an amusement park. The town symbolized the Soviet vision of progress and prosperity. However, on April 26, 1986, everything changed. The Chernobyl nuclear reactor disaster released a catastrophic amount of radioactive material into the environment. Pripyat, situated just a few kilometers from the plant, experienced the full force of the radioactive fallout. In the wake of the disaster, Pripyat's nearly 50,000 residents were evacuated in a matter of hours, leaving behind their homes, belongings, and even pets. The town became a ghost city overnight, as radiation levels rendered it uninhabitable. Today, Pripyat remains frozen in time, its once thriving community replaced by eerie silence. The iconic Ferris wheel of the amusement park, which was scheduled to have its grand opening five days after the disaster, stands still, a symbol of the abrupt halt to everyday life. Despite the dangers of lingering radiation, Pripyat has become a subject of fascination for explorers and photographers from around the world. Guided tours allow visitors to witness the Chernobyl exclusion zone, and the lasting impact of one of the world's worst nuclear disasters. Thanks for joining us on this adventure through these abandoned wonders. Which one fascinated you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep exploring.